So Netflix has done something a little odd. They've taken a very successful Norwegian film called War Sailor and adapted it into a three episode limited series. Now I've not seen the movie, but the series, it might be something you'll want to binge. Alfred and his childhood friend Sigbjorn are working on a merchant ship in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean when World War II breaks out. They are unarmed civilians on the front lines of a war they never asked to join. As the two men struggle for survival in a spiral of violence and death where at any moment German submarines may attack their valuable vessels, they cling to one goal, to survive and return home. So the director stated in an interview that there was a lot of footage from the film that had to be cut because of time, and then also for the story. So they approached Netflix, who agreed to include all of the extra scenes and make this a three-hour limited series, telling a dramatized account of real stories that affected Norwegian merchant sailors. The movie starts with an abrupt and slightly confusing scene, and then flashes back something like eight years, where we meet Alfred, or Freddy, and his best friend Sigbjorn. Now, they're merchant sailors who are getting ready to sail to New York, but along the way, World War II breaks out and they find themselves, along with so many other Norwegian merchant ships, just commandeered to help allies deliver weaponry. Now, this is a devastating story to experience because it's wrought with anxiety and dread. And while most of the visuals aren't actually scary or disturbing, the entire atmosphere that surrounds what's going on is harrowing. This is patient in the storytelling, but certainly not slow. There's an intensity and an urgency to so many of the sequences, allowing us to feel the mounting dread and the pressure that Freddy and Sigbjorn feel, along with their fellow merchant sailors. Now, they're thrust into this situation that they don't want to be in, but there's a very real consequence if they desert. They would be blacklisted and basically never be able to work on a merchant ship again. So there are several times the characters face dilemmas on what they're going to do and if they'll continue to stay on board or if they're going to hop off at the next port. The filmmaking in this is stellar, where so many of the scenes feel like we're part of the action, bobbing up and down on a ship or experiencing the discombobulating effects of an explosion. And then when the sound design is combined with the awesome cinematography, it all becomes very immersive. There are some points where we're watching characters as they're in the ocean, and there are just waves cresting over them as they struggle to stay afloat. And as they dip under the water, the sound goes silent. Just for a brief moment, but it's mimicking how it would be for the one that we're watching. And to put us into that perspective, it's a bit freaky, but also works to make us part of the action rather than just an observer. The story spans multiple years, so there are times when title screens will come up and they'll orient us in the timeline and also give us a location or a description of the situation that our characters are in. And this helps to illustrate the wear and tear that the passage of time is actually taking on Freddy and Sigbjorn. And during these sequences, though, the episodes, they don't solely focus on the sailors. We also get sequences that show how Freddy's family is coping and how they're changing. I mean, the kids are getting bigger and maturing, and we get to see how they struggle to survive because we learn in a very quick line of dialogue that Freddy's wages aren't actually being sent back to his family. Now, a few times in the series, there are some awesome sequences where events are building towards a climax that are most likely going to be devastating. And the way the filmmakers capture these, they're incredible, but also terribly emotional. Now, one scene in particular takes place on October 4th. And as the musical score builds in volume and intensity, the camera is switching between what's happening with Freddy and what's happening with his wife. And I was actually leaning forward in my seat as this was going on because I was so sucked into the drama and had just a dreadful exhilaration at what I thought was about to happen. Now, this isn't a light story by any means, but I was riveted from start to finish. It's a very easy binge, but it can also work to depress you with the amount of sadness that's contained. Now, it is a war series after all, so I didn't really expect this to be bright and cheery, but for as sad as it is, it's also captivating in the presentation. Now, I love the patience that the filmmakers use in certain scenes where they allow the camera to just sit on something, not panning or zooming, but just allowing ambient noises to complement the visuals. And typically with scenes like these, there either aren't actors in the shot or the actors are stationary and not performing any action. And there are a few where it just feels like at least a full minute of just stationary imagery has gone by. And I found that it just, it held me in a way where I couldn't look away. And another moment of incredible patience for a scene comes towards the very end. There are two characters just sitting at a table. Barely anything is said, but the camera will alternate with these drawn out shots of each character. And it really allows us to feel the weight of what's not being said. This is an extremely powerful scene and it conveys so much despite there being only about 10 words spoken. 
Now, if I had to point out a negative for this series, there are a few times when the screen will go black in order to make a transition. Now, these felt abrupt at times, and while I can appreciate them as a stylistic choice, that abruptness, it tended to break me out of whatever emotion I had been feeling. Almost like the show was just, you know, snapping its fingers to break my trance. Now, this isn't a huge negative, but it was used often, and it just wasn't something that worked for me. So overall, War Sailor is a brilliant but distressing story, showing the horrors of war from a very unique perspective. The actors captivate and create wonderful nuance, making for complex and enthralling characters. The cinematography is breathtaking at times, but when it's combined with excellent sound design, the viewing experience becomes utterly immersive. The story does take a while to tell, but it never drags, using time jumps appropriately to illustrate the year's passing, but still maintaining a tight narrative to keep us invested. I am blown away by this, and I hope that you're as just as enthralled as I was. There's very brief sex, no nudity, a lot of profanity, and some gruesome violence. I give War Sailor five out of five couches. So what's a war show or maybe a movie that bubbles up to the top of your list? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.